Wealth is like seawater. The more we drink, the thirstier we become. And the same is true of fame. Health so far outweighs all other blessings of life that a truly healthy beggar is happier than a sick king. Whoever attaches a lot of value to the opinions of others pays them too much honor. The clever are not so much looking for loneliness as they avoid the fuss created by fools. If we suspect that a man is lying, we should pretend to believe him, for then he becomes bold and assured, lies more vigorously, and is unmasked. Wicked thoughts and worthless efforts gradually set their mark on the face, especially the eyes. You should be careful not to form a very favorable opinion about a person at first acquaintance. Otherwise, in most cases, you will have to be disappointed. There is no doubt that life has given us not to be enjoyed, but to be overcome, to be got over. The greatest of follies is to sacrifice health for any other kind of happiness. The word of men is the most durable of all material. Each day is a little life. Every waking and rising a little birth. Every fresh morning a little youth. Every going to rest and sleep a little death. A man can do what he wants, but not what he wants. A man can be himself only so long as he is alone. And if he does not love solitude, he will not love freedom. For it is only when he is alone that he is really free. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. Money is human happiness in the abstract. He then who is no longer capable of enjoying human happiness in the concrete devotes himself utterly to money. Great men are like eagles and build their nest on some lofty solitude. Well, power is to the mind like a strong blind man who carries on his shoulders a lame man who can see. The first forty years of life gives us the text. The next thirty supply the commentary on it. It is a clear gain to sacrifice pleasure in order to avoid pain. Sleep is the interest we have to pay on the capital, which is called in it death. And the higher the rate of interest and more regularly it is paid, the further the date of redemption is postponed. It's the niceties that make the difference. Fate gives us the hand and we play the cards. A man's face as a rule says more and more interesting things than his mouth. 
for it is a compendium of everything his mouth will ever say, and that it is the monogram of all this man's thoughts and aspiration. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. The young should early be trained to bear being left alone, for it is a source of happiness and peace of mind. Whoever violated trust once loses it forever. Happiness belongs to those who are sufficient unto themselves. For all external sources of happiness and pleasure are by their very nature highly uncertain, precarious. Ephemeral and subject to chance. It is better to find your mind in silence than in conversation. A vain person should know that the good opinion of others, which he so achieves, is much easier and more true to create by silence than by talkativeness. He generally won't lose a friend by turning them down for a loan but very easily by giving it to them. From the point of view of youth, life is an endless future. From the point of view of old age, it is a very short past. If we were not all so interested in ourselves, Life would be so uninteresting that none of us would be able to endure it. We can come to look upon the depths of our enemies with as much regret as we feel for those of our friends, namely when we miss their existence. As witnesses to our success, Obstinacy is the result of the will forcing itself into the place of the intellect. It is only at the first encounter that a face makes its full impression on us. The man never feels the want of what it never occurs to him to ask for. To live alone is the fate of all great souls. The doctor sees all the weaknesses of mankind, the lawyer all the wickedness, the theologian all the stupidity. The two enemies of human happiness are pain and boredom. The more unintelligent a man is, the less mysterious existence seems to him. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. In our monogamous part of the world, to marry means to have one's rights and double one's duties. We forfeit three quarters of ourselves in order to be like other people. Reading is equivalent to thinking with someone else's head instead of with one's own. 
we will gradually become indifferent to what goes on in the minds of other people when we acquire a knowledge of the superficial nature of their thoughts, the narrowness of their views, and the number of their errors. Life is short and truth works far and lives long. Let us speak the truth. A pessimist is an optimist in full possession of the facts. To overcome difficulties is to experience the full delight of existence. Life without pain has no meaning. Never dare to rely on your relatives, because expecting something from others makes you dependent and weak. Don't tell your friend what your enemy shouldn't know. A man's delight in looking forward to and hoping for some particular satisfaction is a part of the pleasure flowing out of it, enjoyed in advance. But this is afterward deducted. For the more we look forward to anything, the less we enjoy it when it comes. If they gossip about you, it means that you are enough, not only for yourself, but also for others. The wise have always said the same things, and fools, who are the majority, have always done just the opposite. I've never known any trouble than an hour's reading didn't a sigh. It is in the treatment of trifles that a person shows what they are.